Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, I'm uh, very happy with the with the goal. I mean, uh, it's uh, it was my first uh, world final in short course, and uh, I mean, it's uh, I'm really happy to to be able to compete. I mean, at uh, the same level of uh, other guy like uh, Charles Leclerc. I mean, uh, it's a it's a friend of mine, and uh, it was uh, really fun to compete uh, against him and. Uh, yeah, honestly, I, I ought to be uh, a little bit faster because uh, I swam uh, two times, uh, two times faster one month ago, and uh, I'm uh, I'm sure that I'm, I'm I'm in a better condition compared to one month ago. But I mean, uh, I couldn't expect I couldn't expect nothing more than uh, than a goal tonight, and uh, I'm uh, now. I'm pretty confident about my about myself, and uh, the the championship is still uh, is still long, and uh, I'm focused on to the next race. Did you know that you had the race in hand, or did you have to wait until you saw it on the scoreboard? Yeah, actually, during during the race, I'm I'm just focusing on on myself. I'm I'm not. Uh, I don't want to look around or check uh, my, my my position. I mean, uh, I was just thinking about my my strokes, and uh, I was uh, I'm always confident to be able to to get the goal. But I mean, you can you cannot uh, take it for granted anything. So uh, it's been tough, but uh, I was. Uh, I was uh, quite confident about uh, about this uh, this victory. Matteo, uh, you uh, have been in uh, Barcelona in the final long course. How many are uh, the difference between the two moments, different moments? In uh, Barcelona, uh, you ride right in the final, but not, not medal. Here, champion. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I went through a uh, Many lows and uh, a few peaks in my career, and uh, um, yeah, compared to eight years ago, I'm uh, for sure a different, uh, different guy, a different athlete also. And uh, uh, this year, uh, it's been a, a very, a very tough year. I mean, I did a lot of changes uh, personally and also. Uh, from um, a technical point of view, and uh, I mean, and, uh, I'm happy with uh, for me, but also for uh, for my whole team that uh, we have been uh, working very well, and uh, it's um, we are really confident onto the next goal. I mean, the the world champion long course this summer, and uh, we. Think about uh, I think step by step, and uh, we are just mm, confident on our strength. Matteo, it's a purpose built pool here in the Etihad Arena specifically for this event. Does that make a difference when you're going into a competition? And what's your experience been like in Abu Dhabi so far? Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, uh, Personally, I really miss this kind of situation. I mean, uh, we went through a, a difficult, a very hard period of uh, without uh, without the public. I mean, uh, also with uh, with no com competition. And uh, uh, personally, I'm, I'm enjoying uh, very much this uh, yeah this, this situation because uh, it's uh, it's something that. Um, push you forward and uh, I mean it's very it's very nice to celebrate I mean in front of your of your teammates and also of your of your parents of your relatives I mean it's something that uh, we missed a lot over the last two years and I think we are on the, on the right way to get back to the ordinary uh, ordinary life yeah uh, Matteo, correct me if I'm wrong, I think you went your best time in this event during the ISL season. Uh, and uh, coming into this meet, did you have expectations of how you would perform um, in, in the, well, talking about times? Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, I expected to, 
to swim a little bit faster than ISL, but it's it's totally different. The, uh, the situation is uh, harder to to perform here compared to to ISL, of course. And uh, I mean, it's it's always something that. Uh, can improve your your experience, and uh, I mean next time I will be uh, more more ready for sure to to, to improve my my performance. And um, uh, I mean <laughs> I'm just happy with the, with my performance, and uh, I didn't I mean uh, realize uh, totally my what I did tonight because. Uh, uh, I didn't talk with, with my coach, uh, <laughs> I didn't talk with, with him yet, so uh, I will have uh, time to, to to think about what I, what I did wrong and what I, uh, what I did uh, good and um, I don't know, it's it's a great day for, for me and for my whole team. Matteo, I have three questions, Yeah. all in your future. What will the holidays bring and what will you do over the next couple of weeks? Honestly, I don't know where uh, where we go, but I I'm gonna take uh, I mean a couple of weeks of, of rest because uh, it's been a, a very tough uh, tough season, and uh, we gotta be ready to to get back to work on the, on January for uh, for the second part of the season, and uh, we gotta charge our uh, I mean our battery. Yeah. You spoke about football, but as we all know, we're typically racing in July or in August, and yeah. now we'll be racing in mid-May. Yeah. Any adjustment to you for that? Uh, no, because um, it's it's my goal, but I mean, uh, we, we gotta qualify. We gotta still qualify for for that event. And uh, I mean, um, I did. A, a great improvement in short course, and I uh, can't wait to, to do it also in, in, long, in long course. So um, I need to do that to, to go up to something uh, as good as uh, what I did tonight. So I don't know. I'm, I think I'm on, I'm on the right way to, to, do the, to do that. And speaking of long course, it seems like just moments ago we were in Tokyo at the Olympics, but Paris is. Only two and a half years away. Uh, I don't know. I mean, uh, when I missed the Olympic qualification this summer, uh, it was a uh, it was very hard for me. And uh, over the last couple of years, I mean, uh, I went through a difficult period, and uh, I was about to. I also, honestly, I thought about uh, the retirement, of course, because uh, I didn't enjoy anymore. But. Uh, Currently, I'm not. I'm not focused on the on the next uh, Olympics. Honestly, I'm just enjoying the time, and uh, I don't have a, a long-term perspective. I just mean uh, take what uh, what I can take now, and uh, we will see. I don't know.